Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I've got an unboxing of this M12 um, Bluetooth compatible radio um, audio speaker. Um, this is the 2951-20. It's the tool only. In, it's an M12 version. Um, and I've ha I have other speakers. This takes an M12, but no radio. This is a radio. It's old. I've had this thing, gosh, since they first came out. Um, anyway, and, and I, I really like it, but it, it's the buttons are starting to uh, misbehave. Um, but it does work. Um, the antenna is kind of wonky, and it, I always grab it like this, even though the handles are here. Um, sometimes in positions it's hard to grab. And then I've got these little M12 speakers. i got a couple of these. Um, I put a hanging loop on this one so I could use it. But this basically, um, it's either Bluetooth or you plug in an audio source, and usually that's what I end up doing. But I wanted a... Um, a newer radio with better features and Bluetooth would be great. This was probably before Bluetooth was was a big thing. Plus, if you remember, look at the size of that. An iPhone used to fit in that little box because that's how big they were. But anyway, let's crack this guy open. Um, and I'm going to open it with my uh, Spyderco rescue knife. Um, just using the little tip on the front end to crack that open and pull the cardboard out. There we go. And let's see what's in this guy. Um, usual Mil Milwaukee stuff. I assume that might be the charger. And then there's the radio. Now I've watched some reviews before I got this and some people had interesting thoughts on it, and I could tell they either didn't have experience with prior Milwaukee stuff, um, you know, like they were complaining that the M12 battery is hard to get out. Um, let me grab one here. Actually, I grabbed two of them because uh, I've heard that the small ones are easy to get out and the big ones are near impossible to get out, so let's go try that. Um, and then this is the, uh, what do we got? Okay, we've got a couple of things in the box here. Runs on uh, two AAA batteries to maintain the clock if the battery's dead. A uh, clock and hold the radio settings, I guess. And a plug-in. And I really wish they'd use a different kind of plug-in than this. Milwaukee's been using this thing forever. Um, I can see why they use it, but it really doesn't fit a whole lot of anything else. So USB-C would be nice. Um, and let's see. So the batteries are going to go down here. Here is... The uh, I can figure out how to open that guy without breaking it off. You know, I guess you pry it out. Yeah, it's in there pretty snug. I guess it's got a hefty seal on it. Probably doing this all wrong. Nope, that's it. You just pry it out. It's got a big, thick rubber seal. So you got your AC in and you've got USB. This is USB for charging. This will charge devices but it will not, um, apparently that's what goes on here, it will not allow you to plug in an audio cord. Um, like if you just had, I think I've got one sitting here. Yeah, so if I wanted to plug in like an iPhone or something, um, or uh, anything else, I'd need to be able to plug directly in there. Um, and I don't see one on this, and that's been a complaint, but I don't need that very often when I do. Um, I, I, I have these others, but I'd rather wish this did. So let's plug a battery in and see. Let's start with the small one here. Okay, uh, so yeah, it's easy to get out. I don't have any trouble with that when it's in all the way. Let's try a larger one. Here's a 6.0. That's the biggest you can get right now. Um, fits about like a lot of the others. I do have a couple of M18 radios. Um, one of them actually, I think, does take the M12 as well. Um, but And one of them acts as a charger as well, but the other doesn't. I don't have any trouble with that. So, um, you know, it's typical M12. And I've got big hands for this. I like this handle here. 
It also has the ability to run a cord or a, um, you can see there's a hole here, a, um, a pipe or, you know, a rod or something through it. It's got a nail hook here. Um, it's got this thing. I don't know if that's part of the pack out system or what, this slot. Um, so let's crank it up and see what goes on here. So let's take the fake cover off and turn it on. I won't play music. I don't want a, anything to happen here. So it's got the Bluetooth right away. It's got AM. I have heard some folks say that the, if you're using the AC, apparently the shielding for the AM isn't as good. I don't know. We've got uh, our presets, clock, volume gives us a number here. Um, we've got our Bluetooth, AM, FM. Anyway, so overall, um, it looks like a solid unit. It is, well, it's on the heavy side, it's on the beefy side here. Get this antenna out. Um, and we'll uh, play around with it, run it for a while, and then see. I guess there's some other coating here. I don't know if there's another light or something for charging, probably. Let me see. I'm, I'm, Got something I can throw a charger on. Let's try one of these. So here's an old iPhone. So it apparently you can charge when it's if it's plugged in or on battery. I don't know what that's gonna do. Might take a minute to kick on. It's a really dead phone. Um, do I have to turn anything on? Again, I haven't read the directions here, so we'll see. What about that? Okay, yeah, there we go. So it is kicking on here. Whoops, don't want to get demonetized. Anyway, so that works. Um, so overall, big solid unit. I use these outdoors a lot. Um, this one's been all over. Sometimes we use these on camping trips um, to just power, you know, things. But, uh, and this one, this has been a, like a party box. This is great. Although I wish the handle was on this side because I always grab the stuff with the left. It's only a right-handed handle. This one takes both the M18 and the M12 batteries. Um, it's know, about the same weight. You know, a big, big one like that. This has got great sound um, and it's Bluetooth as well, but um, wanted something a little bit different. We'll see, hope this stays in. That was one of the issues here is this would always get pulled out and you can see it kind of flops around now. So I've actually almost broken it off a few times. Um, looks like that's flush. You're not gonna turn anything on or off. And then the battery, notice the battery doesn't hit, so the base is not going to be hitting the battery or putting any force there. Um, but it looks like a solid unit, and uh, I bet it has much better Bluetooth. This is kind of like sketchy at times. Good. Whoops, this is kind of sketchy. I wonder if it's got that snap on. Wow, that turns on pretty easy. I wonder if I can turn it on. Well, anyway. So that comes on pretty easy. Good this week. Hmm. Anyway, great. Now I got to make another cover for it out of metal, right? Um, anyway, thought you might find that interesting. Um, it's a solid unit. It's gotten, um, you know, some pretty good indications of, of performance over time. I think it came out this summer. Some people didn't think it was loud enough. Um, I, I will find out. Um, but you know, this one I've often got maxed out. Um, I wonder if it's even starting to come down. This one's pretty good. These are actually solid units, especially for the money. So don't hesitate if you're looking, um, these are around 110 bucks or something like that for the bear tool. Um, and with that, dock out.